you have seen in the last part one video how to give the model up to the loadings then we have to give the wind loads dead load and light load we have given we are supposed to give the wind loads in x direction and x direction z and plus z and minus z directions let us go so like this add wind loads in x direction regular and then height of the structure is 4 plus 4 total overall 10 okay close then in the minus it direct plus it direction wind load the z axis factor 1 to 0 to 10 add and close and minus x axis wind load minus 1 and up to 10 and close and coming to the set direction and wind loads minus set direction z factor is minus 10 in the y range has come into the picture. Let us generate <coughs> the <coughs> load combinations. This will take 1.5 times the 1.5 times the dead load plus line load. <coughs> Take the 1.2 times dead load plus night load plus wind load. So we take dead load, line load, and wind load in x direction. It's a 1.5 times. Sorry. Let us analyze all we need and close. Analyze and analysis. Yes. So there is no errors and warnings. Okay, let us go for the steel design. Then go to the steel design, create the new envelope, we will take only load combinations, ok and then we will go to the member design, go to the physical members, auto form the members, ok right now the members are auto formed. Now let us go to the briefs, have a new brief, let us take the same thing, go to the new design, <laughs> add a group, few elements up to, we will take up to here one group, add, it is added, new group one more, add a group from here onwards, we will take 10 10 elements as 1 ok and third group and a group and no other groups are there ok 
let us cancel now groups are given now let us go to the perform member design go to the check code successful go to the perform and group design this is done okay now let us go to the result so we have done all the things everything is passed whatever the element we have taken right all the elements are passed and then they have given this is the elements we have given and they have given the design these are the design sections if you want to go for the original section you can go otherwise better you go for the design section okay then let us go to the post processing let us take these two into the apply apply okay right now reactions displacements then to the plates you can go to the absolute apply and these are the pressures all these things you can take the output this is how we are supposed to design a steel overhead water tank thank you